A2 Milk has almost 10% of the fluid milk market in Australia by value. It's also in New Zealand, in the UK and in China. And in April, it's hitting stores in the US, in California. But is there solid science behind it? I'm here at Expo West to talk to US Nutrition Director Bonnie Johnson to find out. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, can you explain what A2 Milk is? Yes, I can. A2 milk is real cow's milk with one small difference, and that is the protein content. We don't have any A1 protein, and science has shown that that may cause the digestive discomfort that some people feel after drinking milk. Our milk is A1-free, strictly A2 beta casein that's easier to digest. Okay, so can you just clarify, so this isn't for people with a lactose intolerance or a severe milk allergy? No, we still have as much lactose as regular cow's milk. We still have whey and caseins that may cause an allergy. But for those people who haven't been clinically diagnosed with lactose intolerance or milk allergy, this may be a solution for them, especially if they're feeling digestive discomfort, even trying some of the alternatives. Okay, can you talk a little about the cows uh, themselves? So most cows produce A2 and A1? Absolutely. So most cows produce A2 and A1. About one in every three cows in a herd is an A2 exclusive producer, so they're only making A2 milk. We actually go in with a DNA test, test a little piece of their tail hair, and we are able to isolate them into a special herd and milk them and process their milk separately. Okay, so what about the market reaction to this? I mean, we ran an article uh, on the company a couple of weeks ago, got a big uh, reaction. Um, you know, some people, you know, a little bit skeptical, others very enthusiastic. So, you know, what kind of reception do you get? Well, that's really interesting because here at Expo West, we have had yeah. nothing but enthusiastic reactions. Mm -hmm. So while some people may be in it's skeptical, mm -hmm. consumers are looking for a solution on the shelf and we're bringing it to them. Can you talk a little bit about the science behind it? I know there is, uh, you know, a lot of research in this area. Mm -hmm. There are about 100 different peer-reviewed papers that support the A2 proposition, both in humans and in animals. Uh, but especially recently, a human clinical trial that showed that A1 and A2 beta casein proteins are digested differently in the human body. So we do have proof of that. Now it's a matter of figuring out who does and who doesn't digest it right. Okay, so what about your strategy of going to market here in the U.S.? Um, you know, can you talk a bit about the process of working with farmers, with processors, and with retailers to, you know, to get this on shelf? Well, again, just like consumers, it's everything has been really enthusiastic, really welcoming to the community. Um, innovation in dairy is few and far between. We're bringing some of that to farmers, and we're bringing it to the consumer, and hopefully increasing dairy consumption across the board. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck with the business going forward. I'm Elaine Watson reporting for Food Navigator USA.